Hi, I'm John Edwards, and this is A View from the Pew. Have you ever stopped and pondered the life of Mary Magdalene? If you hadn't, you should. And today is a good day to do it. It's her feast day. But we should all gather hope from the life of Mary Magdalene, from her story. Here was this woman that was mired down in sin and darkness and fear and mistakes and faults. And yet the light came into her life. Jesus Christ came into her life and changed it, asked her to follow him. And she did it with everything she had. This woman that was surrounded by nothing but men, but yet she continued to journey with all of them to not care about anything but following Christ. You know, there's a scene in the, in the show, The Chosen. If you haven't seen it yet, please watch that show. It's amazing. But it's in one of the first couple of episodes and Nicodemus who tried to exercise demons out of Mary Magdalene and failed now finds out that she's been healed. So he comes to her believing he's the one that did it. And she explains to him that he's not. And he says, would you know this man if you saw him again? She tells him about Jesus. And he said, and she says to him, I, all I could tell you is this. I was one way and now I'm completely different. And the only thing that happened in between was him. So yes, I will know him for the rest of my days. My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ can do the same for you and me. He wants to come into your life. He wants to pull you out of your struggles. He wants to, to, to bring you into the role that he, he has for you to fulfill in your life, your purpose for living. He wants you to follow him and be a disciple the way Mary Magdalene did so that you could say like she did when she found that empty tomb and she saw Jesus and he gave her instruction to go and tell others and she ran back to the disciples and said, I have seen the Lord. My brothers and sisters, we're called to do the same. We should mimic the life of Mary Magdalene. Take the hand of Christ, forgive yourself, move past your mistakes and go into the role that he's laid out for you and take part in the plan of salvation because we each have that unique role. Thanks for your time. God bless.